Ever since the premiere of Stars' Outlander in 2014, based on Diana Gabaldon's 1991 book series of the same name, Scotland has seen a sharp rise in tourism to the country all thanks to the show. Scotland's tourism authorities reported that attractions that feature in the Outlander TV series have seen visitor numbers soar by 67% since 2013, from 887,000 to 1.5 million. On March 14, author Diana Gabaldon received an international contribution to Scottish Tourism Award at the Scottish Thistle for boosting Scottish tourism through her fantasy saga. After receiving the award, Gabaldon told the BBC, it's fabulous. I hear a great deal from fans of mine who have read the books and seen the TV show, who come to Scotland because they all write to tell me how wonderful it was and they send me souvenirs of their trips. I have a stack of postcards as well as a small number of Loch Ness monsters scattered around the house. Sam Hewan, who plays the lead role of the Scottish Highlander Jamie Fraser, praised Gabaldon and said, I first met my character Jamie Fraser six years ago when asked to audition for the TV adaptation. Little did I realize how popular and widely read Diana's books are, or I may have been more nervous. I've seen thousands of fans each year travel to Scotland, visit our locations and try to immerse themselves in our world in any way possible. The show is a time-traveling series revolving around a 20th-century nurse cum Dr. Claire Randall Fraser who time travels to the 18th century and falls in love with a Highlander named Jamie Fraser. Mia Worldwide shortlists the places Outlander fans can visit to really immerse themselves in Outlander experience. Down Castle The primary Outlander location to get the largest tourism surge of 226.5% between 2013 and 2017 has been the Down Castle, which stands as Castle Lock in Outlander, home to Jamie's uncle Colin Mackenzie and his clan. This medieval structure was built in the late 14th century by Robert Stewart, Duke of Albany. Blackness Castle this 15th-century castle overlooking the Firth of Forth near Linlithgow has witnessed an increase of 181.7%. This is the setting for Black Jack Randall's Fort William headquarters in the series. This castle is often referred to as the ship that never sailed because of its unusual shape. Glasgow Cathedral Screened as a French hospital in Outlander, Glasgow Cathedral, which is also the oldest cathedral on mainland Scotland, witnessed an increase of 66.8% in tourist. Besides these, here are some Scottish locations doubling as France, the Caribbean, and North America in the time-traveling drama. Rannick Moor The locations where it all started, Craig Nodun, a stone circle that transported Clare to the 17th century, and Brianna Randall Fraser too, was filmed at Rannick Moor. Colros the Royal Burg of Culros has retained the same look since the 17th century and serves as the village of Cranesmuir, home to the villainous and now dead Galus Duncan. Falkland The opening scene set in the 1940s was filmed at the picturesque town of Falkland which stands in for the bigger city of Inverness. Glencore Sold Kirk This 17th century church where Claire and Jamie tied the knot lies in the foothills of the Pentland Hills. 